See, mm. okay. So, hello, um, everyone. So, it's recording already. So, we'll continue with our lesson 10. And this one is still the adequacy of regression. So, from the last time na, na lecture natin or lesson natin is on the uh, residual and the residual plot to check if the regression model is uh, good or not. Another method or another criteria to state or to verify if the regression model is good is using the coefficient of determination or your R squared. So basically, yung makukuha nyo sa calculator na R value, usually that's the correlation. Pag in square nyo yun, that's your R squared or the coefficient of determination. So the R squared value is calculated as the ratio between SSR over SST. And we know that SSR is equal to SST minus SSE and we can further reduce or modify the formula as 1 minus SSE over SST. And often use this value or the value of the R squared as the adequacy of the regression model. The value for R squared is ranging from 0 to 1. And we often refer loosely to R squared as the amount of variability in the data explained or accounted for by the regression model. So, adequacy. So, for the oxygen purity, so we know the SSR and the SST, so you just get their ratio and uh, we'll have the value 0 0.877. So, this model account for 87.7% of the variability in data. Okay? Now, another uh, coefficient or another uh, correlation or uh, parameter that we can uh, obtain from the regression analysis is the correlation. So, yung correlation naman, this dictate how the model will work or how linear is your model or what is the behavior of your model. So, for this correlation, uh, this is your uh, this value, the sigma, or usually this is R value. So, this is just the uh, variation or standard deviation xy over standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y, or what we call the covariance of x and y, yung sigma xy. So, this one follows this uh, model and we can uh, determine the value for your v0 and v1 using this value. Okay? Now, uh, this is your R squared or the sample correlation coefficient. So, you can use this formula or just get the square root of the R squared na nakuha natin. So, R squared lang yan. Huh? Ganun lang siya. Fast. So, you can use that formula, lahat yan. But basically, yung R squared, R S S R over SST, square root mo lang yan. That's your value. Okay? Uh, often, we use to test correlation with hypothesis. So, how linear is your uh, correlation? So, this value, I draw is equal to 0 and draw is not equal to 0. The same uh, test, we use your t-test. But the formula for t-test is this one, r square root ng n minus 2 over square root ng 1 minus r. Rejection when t uh, calculated is greater than your critical value. The critical value has the alpha over 2 and the n minus 2 uh, degrees of freedom. So, the test procedure for uh, the hypothesis is uh, this one. So, you can use this formula also. The arctan r minus arctan rho n minus 3 squared. So, pwede nyo rin tong gamitin. Yun sa pag-calculate. Ito siya. Okay? Anyway, so this is an example for the test and correlation. So we have the regression analysis described in which an engineer at a semiconductor assembly plant is investigating the relationship between the full strength of a wire band and two factor. So the wire length and the height, die height. In this example, we will consider only one factor, the wire length. A random sample of 25 units is selected. So I just check this uh, 
data yung example 11-8. And uh, ito yung data na yun. So, pag kinuha mo yung data, we have the wire length and the pull strength. Ah, pull strength, ito yun. So, yung, yung isa lang. Ito lang yung kukunin natin. Ha? Yung impact ng X1 sa pull strength. Later, we will have this example for the uh, multi-regression multi analysis. Okay? So, ito yung wire length, ito yung pull strength. Okay, makikita nyo yan. Okay, so the Minitab output. So, paano nyo makikita? Ito yung equation. Ito yung coefficient ng constant. Ito yung sa uh, slope. Ito yung uh, SE, yung error. Ito yung p-value. So, makikita nyo dito yung R squared, 96.4%. Ito yung adjusted. Okay, but usually we just use the R squared value. Ito yung analysis of variance. So, sorry. Nangyari. Tara lang. Sorry na dalaw. Okay, yan. So, ito yung analysis of variance. Makikita nyo, ito yung... Uh, Ting analysis of variance, nandiyan siya. Okay? So, ting degrees of freedom, uh, 25 yung sample, so degrees of freedom is 24. We have two variable, kaya one yung regression. Yung sa residual error, 25 minus 2. So, SS. Ito yung SS, ito yung error, ito yung SSR, ito yung SST, MS, and your F value. Okay? So, getting the regression... So, basically, ito lang yun. Tapos, square root nyo na lang. Okay? Square root nyo lang. So, yun yan. Yung 96.4. Ito yan. 96.4. Getting the square root 0.981. Or, you can use the formula. SXY. That's 2. 20. 27. Wala siya dito. So, pwede nyo siyang compute in sa data. Sa data. Okay. Now, um, now, let's have the hypothesis testing. So, the hypothesis state that the correlation is equal to zero, meaning there's no linear correlation or uh, no linear relationship between the data. And yung alternative natin that there's a linear uh, relationship. And from this one, na-compute natin yung t-calculated or t naught 24.8 comparing to your t-table, yung sa t-table, 0.025, kasi 0.05 yung, yung ating alpha, and 23 yung degrees of freedom. So, tingnan nyo na lang dun sa t-table nyo, ha? Ito yung alpha, ito yung uh, degrees of freedom. So, 2.0, mas malaki yung calculated, we reject the null hypothesis, meaning there's a linear correlation. Okay? Or, we can have this uh, calculation for the uh, Confidence interval. So, you use this one for the confidence interval. And uh, may uh, hyperbolic tangent naman yung calculator. Yun. So, makakompute nyo yan. So, ito na yung value. Okay, now. Uh, more engineering data, uh, hindi siya nagpa-follow ng uh, linear regression. However, we can transform or we can change the formulation or the formula of the behavior and transform this model to uh, a linear regression, what we call the logistic regression. So, such nonlinear model are called intrinsically linear. If we can convert the nonlinear model to a linear model. So, ito yung mga example. So, pag plinat mo, hindi siya linear. But if you change yung yung x value for example dito ito hindi kasi to naglinear eh. but if you change this one to 1 over x maglilinear siya okay so linear yung model so ganun din dito okay so yung mga usual transformation na ginagawa so meron kang gantong formula so you can transform this formula to a linear form where your your y prime is ln ng y and your x is ln ng, uh, hindi, x lang pala siya. x lang yung x dito. So, ayan yung linear form. 
Pag power naman, so apply logarithm, yung y prime, yung transform, y and x, ito yan, log y, log of x, so higit siya ang ganda na uh, linear form. So, yung x prime, y prime. Ito naman, so you can see log of x yung x mo, so magiging linear siya. Yung reciprocal, so yung x i1 over x. So you can utilize this one. And uh, use this transform value of x and y in the calculation. Okay, we end our lesson 10 here and hopefully uh, may naintindihan kayo. Pag wala, just uh, message me or uh, just put a comment in the uh, module.